Hello everyone, this is AA25 and this is a video showing you how to configure and get Centro files working onto your PSP. Now, what a Centro is, it means custom intro and every time you shut off your PSP and you turn it on, you'll have a your custom intro that you've created or downloaded playing before you get into your XMB. Now, it's very easy to set up. It just, um, it's a pretty long process, but uh, I think most people won't have a problem with this. So first, go to your description. You want to download either Central Files or Auto Start Version 4. Now, Central Files is for any custom firmware, and Auto Start Version 4 is for 5.50 Gen users. Now, 5.50 Gen users have to download this because it's been reported only Auto Start Version 4 works with their firmware, and they will just have to be using those files. But they can still watch the video as they have the same exact files and nothing has been changed or there's no special instructions at all. So put your PSP into USB firmware or USB mode after you download folders, or files, sorry, and open central files. You get a folder, open that, and you have two folders, two files. First, you want to put the central.pmf folder at the root of your memory stick. Now, this file is the, it's a PMF file, which is like a PSP media file, and that is basically the video that will be playing as your custom intro. You want to go to SE plugins and put auto start up here X in there. You will then want to go and create a bsh.txt file in this folder if you have not already created one before. Or if you're not, just open your original bsh.txt. You want to add this line. Here. M is zero slash SE plugins slash auto start dot PRX. There it is. It's M is zero colon slash SE plugins slash auto start dot PRX. I'll have it written in the description if you need it. If you want to save the file, close it, and you want to add the same exact thing in a game dot text. Create one if you haven't already. Just want to add the same exact line. Then you want to go out of SE plugins, go to PSP, game. Then when you go into game, you just want to add boot this boot folder and auto start to your game folder. Alright, now after you've done everything you needed to do on the computer, you want to go to the game section, memory stick, and you want to go find auto start configurator. Now I have a lot of files on my PSP, so anyway, it doesn't matter. Auto start configurator. Now, for Gen users, Auto Start Configurator might look a little bit different for you, but you will still be following similar instructions for this. Now, you will see that you'll have a bunch of options. You first want to go to choose the file you want to auto launch. It's the second to last option for custom firmware or most custom firmware users, Gen users. I don't know where it is. You're just gonna have to look for it. Select it. And you want to go navigate to your PSP folder, game folder. You want to go to boot and select eboot.pbp of your boot folder. So again, you are going to choose a file you want to auto launch, PSP, game, boot, and eboot.pbp. Next, you want to go to see your current options. And you should see one that says auto. 
an auto option and it should say the following PHP game boot eboot.pvp if it does not say that then you have to go back to see the current options to auto launch and select the correct do the correct thing which is go into the PHP folder game folder boot folder and then select eboot.pvp next you want to go down to auto boot and it, if it does not say yes press triangle and it should say yes so now it says no and we want it to say yes so press triangle if you need to change it to say yes after that go back and you want to exit so what you do to exit is you want to go ahead and hit home yes okay now you want to turn off your PSP and you want to go into your recovery menu so what I do is I just go press select to get into VH, VSH menu press reset the device and then to get into recovery menu you always press and hold R until you see the recovery menu now if you do not have VSH menu enabled you want to shut off your PSP completely not sleep mode then you want to press and hold R while you're turning on your PSP and you'll get into the recovery menu anyway you want to go to plugins you want to enable auto start dot purex in VSH mine's already enabled and then you want to go down and find auto start dot purex game and enable that also all right then after you do that you want to go back and you want to exit the recovery menu and as you see your Sintra will not play if you ever exit from the recovery menu which is useful if you shut off your PSP you don't want to go see the Sintra over and over again if you're testing something anyway let me turn my volume to the max okay it's configured Sintra correctly so let's see if it works I'm going to reset my device and this is the Sintra you guys are going to see if you're installing it for the first time with a special one. Everything must come to an end. And if you see that, that means it works. Alright guys, and you have configured Sintro correctly. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, just write it in the comment section or you can send a message to me. Have a good day, guys.